Hello everybody and welcome to the United Stand. This is your latest Manchester United transfer news. Don't worry, I'm not in prison. We're still on the hotel balcony. It's just very, very windy today. So we'll fly straight into what is a massive day for Manchester United in the transfer window, as I said. Uh, remember, we are sponsored by the Unibet vlog. The link is in the video description. I've actually written an article about Harry Maguire, which we're going to start off with. Really good articles on there, breaking news. I've put my article on there as to why Harry Maguire is perfect and the only choice for Manchester United. Link in the video description. Give it a click, give it a read, give us your thoughts in the comments below. But we're going to start off with Harry Maguire because last night there was a a story coming out from Sky Sports that Manchester United want to pay £80 million pounds for, are willing to pay £80 million pounds for Harry Maguire. Some people were saying it was an £80 million pound bid. That wasn't actually the case at all. Even Sky Sports clarified it themselves that the only bid for Harry Maguire at this point is a £70 million pound bid from Manchester United, which was quite a while ago. We will be talking about Dybala as well. Um, however, United are willing to go up to £80 million pounds, and many people feel that that will be enough. Although there is talk of Harry Maguire um, being valued at £90 million by Leicester City, which is just ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. As I said, I think we're coming up for four weeks ago now, with one week of the transfer window left. With uh, Four weeks ago, I did a video on this channel where I'd been told that Manchester United were going to sign Harry Maguire. Harry Maguire wants to come to Manchester United and all United need to do is go above £75 million, which they still haven't done. They still haven't done it. I still think that they will. Um, and Dion Doherty says, fan friend, ex United and Chelsea director Maguire won't complete. Okay, right. Well, I think he will complete. And I think he will complete as soon as Manchester United go above the £75 million that they need to go above. Nothing on Bruno Fernandes today, aspect Cola. Maybe there will be something on later on shows, but nothing to discuss about uh, Bruno Fernandes today. Harry Maguire, look, look, how close is it, says Darren. Look, I think we can establish one thing that is very consistent about Manchester United that we have established over, the, over, the, over this transfer windows and other transfer windows is that these deals when they take a long time I don't know why they take so long with United but they take a long time wan Saka took a month Harry Maguire first bid went in a month ago still not anything done on that so look when is it going to happen I don't know today could be a very significant day with Harry Maguire but maybe they're going to wait till next season maybe they're going to wait till next season I don't know next season next week I don't know I mean I, I never thought we'd be here with, a, with one week to go five weeks after the signing of wan Saka, and we haven't done a deal but let's talk Paolo Dybala. Very interesting day for him. A lot of people in the live comments talking about him. He has arrived in Italy. He will have all his medical tests in Italy, not for United, just the normal pre-season medical tests that they do in Italy. He'll then speak to Sarri. But the latest is, and this would be a fantastic deal for Manchester United. I mean, Mike Hill says Dybala and Pogba, perfect midfield duo, duo exciting. Um, what I would say is that Manchester United and Dybala, there is talk now that Dybala wants about 300 grand a week, 320 grand a week, which for a player of his quality, that probably is about right. It probably is about right. I know people are saying it's silly money, but he's in his mid-twenties. He's well thought of. Um, but the interesting thing is that Juventus may well just do a straight swap. A straight swap for Dybala and Lukaku, money-wise, would be... I mean, they, they've never seen look, they've never seen Lukaku play, have they? They've checked his Wikipedia page and they've seen his goals to game ratio and they think brilliant. But to be honest with you, you know what? You know what Lukaku? What what Lukaku would bring to to Juventus is is zebra, and he's probably better than Mandzukic. To be fair, concerned we aren't going to get Bruno says Jin Amarising. I think there's a lot of nervousness around Dybala at the moment, and it's almost made people forget about the um, the relevance of signing a midfielder of Bruno Fernandes. Dybala's not a midfielder. He can play off the right. Um, he can play off the right, definitely, but he also is a player that um, is going to be better as a false nine or a number 10. And that's not what Manchester United desperately need. We desperately need a midfielder and we desperately need uh, a centre-back. So uh, Manchester United have got to get that Bruno Fernandes deal done. What I would what I would say about Bruno Fernandes is if that deal is going to be done, which I still think it will, there is um, Sporting Lisbon apparently wanting to play on Sunday against Benfica in quite a big pre-season game. So that... That, that, that may be what's happening with that. But all eyes on the Dybala deal today, of course, and we'll keep you updated with that, whether it's me or Flex. So make sure you subscribe, get your notifications on and smash a like on the video. But there will be some developments around Dybala today. You've got to be very, very careful about what's true and not. Yeah, I'm still in Mallorca, as you can see. It's just windy out there, so you get better audio if I just sit slightly here. Um, we're going to get updates on Dybala during the day. We might get bullshit updates. We might get good updates. But the reality is... It's, it's up to Dybala. I think we all know it's up to him. That's a very dangerous situation. I've seen Carrick fan on Twitter saying he feels nervous. He feels nervous because it's a bit like Griezmann. 
But Griezmann was coming to Manchester United. Griezmann wanted to come to Manchester United. He, he, he changed his mind because Atletico Madrid had their transfer ban upheld and he felt a loyalty to them. This, there's no loyalty with um, Dybala. It's about what Dybala wants to do. And Extra Z says Dybala apparently liked a photo from a Juve van telling him to stay on Insta. He did. He did. There was a post from an Inter Milan fan saying, sorry, a Juventus fan saying to stay and he liked it. And I think this is where you get a division in the United fan base. What do you want? Get in the comments below because this is a fan channel. That's what it's all about. What do you want? Do you want Dybala at any price or do you not want Dybala because he doesn't really want to come here? Um, for me, I think at this late stage in the transfer window, I would have took Gareth Bale. So, of course, I'm going to take Dybala. I do have concerns. I have concerns that he's only coming here because Juventus don't want him. And I understand why people are re relating it to the Di Maria deal. Not because he's, uh, you know, I think he's a better player than Di Maria. Dybala hijack into sweep swapping Icardi, says Sad Ali. Um, but but I, I feel that the, the, the situation with Dybala is this, that if he comes to Manchester United, he makes us a better team because he's a better player than Mata and Lingard in that position. Um, he's after a new contract, says Nicholas Pitt. I don't think he is after a new contract because I think Juventus want to move him on. Sadly, none of the, the players we want to come will come, says Ole Ray. Um, but with Dybala, it, it is, I understand both sides of it because you've got a player there that's coming that doesn't necessarily want to come whereas you've got players who would love to come and play for this club, i.e. I believe Bruno Fernandes to be one of those. Daniel Riemann says we need a centre-back and 89, uh, 80 to 90 million, so be it. Um, at this, You know what, it's interesting. If United have spent so long negotiating on the Harry Maguire deal, they're going to have to pay the going rate anyway because time is running out on that deal, isn't it? Anyway, I've wrote a really good article about this. The link's in the video description. It's about Harry Maguire. Please do give it a read because I don't write much, but it's on the Unibet vlog and the link is in the video description all about Harry Maguire and why effectively time has run out and options don't actually exist. Talking about centre-backs, there was a story that was quite interesting about Axel Twansibi to Newcastle. Now, a lot of people say, no, 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 no. Personally, if we do sign Harry Maguire, you've got Lindelof, you've got Jones, you've got Smalling, you've got Rojo. Of course, I don't want some of those players, but they are going to be here anyway. Twan Seabee going to Newcastle on a year loan, I, I actually thought, you know, that would be a good move for him. I want Axel Twan Seabee to play first-team football for Manchester United, Manchester United in the future. Is he ready to play first-team football at the moment? He's not far off, but if we're signing Maguire, it's going to be him and Lindelof. So as Mark Edmund says there, Twan Seabee on a loan to Newcastle for a year, I would do that. Of course, I would love him to be our third-choice centre-back, but I don't think he will be. I can't see a situation where Harry Maguire and Lindelof are first choice. One of them gets injured, and then Twan CB comes in. Because ultimately, we've just given Smalling and Jones new contracts, and Rojo's on 100 grand a week or around that. So I don't see that happening. I think Twan CB needs to play regular football. And also, what I would say is that with regards to people like Chong and Gomez, I would say the same about them. I think they've got a future at Manchester United, but they need... They need a present. They need a present, and they, their present needs to be high-end first-team football in the Championship or the Premier League. Um, the blog was nice, thank you. If, is, all deal, is all three deals impossible with only one week left, says Adrian Soraladi? No, it's not impossible. Um, I understand why people think it is impossible. Can I just say, if the video cuts out, it keeps doing this on the app. Um, I am back tomorrow in the studio, so we won't have any more of these cut-out videos and we'll be able to interact a lot more. But, um, yeah, if it cuts out, apologies. I have covered most things I wanted to cover other than taking a few of your questions. Um, so, recap, £80 million will get Harry Maguire, apparently, but it's not gone through yet. Jan Ban Jovi, I've had a very good holiday, thank you. Just a bit windy the last couple of days. Um, can we do three deals in, in a week? Yes, because we've been working on the Harry Maguire deal for a long time and it's just about the price. Dybala can be done in a week easily because it's just a straight swap for Lukaku who wants to go. Um, Bruno Fernandes, again, can be done quickly because, again, there's a lot of groundwork been done with that deal. I mean, I heard somebody saying yesterday that United, that, that, that Bruno, that um, Sporting Lisbon have already rejected a bid for Bruno Fernandes. There's some right chances out there this summer in relation to transfer news. Sporting Lisbon haven't rejected any bid for Bruno Fernandes because as we've been saying on this channel for a long time if they do reject a bid they have to pay five million to Bruno Fernandes and increase his, his contract it's not happened it's not happened today is the d-day for Dybala we'll keep you updated with what's going on that we'll see what happens um very interested to see um triple announcements on the final day says Joe A well remember we've got our get together a week tonight the United Stand get together I'll drop the link in the video description of tonight's eight o'clock show we have still got tickets available if you want to turn up it's in London a week tonight on the transfer deadline day night so it's going to be a very interesting meetup anyway and we'll be doing live content etc so looking forward to that um but 
D-Day for Dybala, I think that's what's going to be the, the news for the rest of the day. Um, Harry Maguire, I, can, I think United do one deal at a time, and at the moment it seems to be all hands to the pump on the Dybala Lukaku deal. I think Bruno Fernandes is going to wait till next week now. I don't see that happening, um, which means we're going to be very nervous next week. Um, the baller would be a shirt seller. He would, let's be honest, he would be a, a shirt seller. Uh, please do smash a like on the video if you are enjoying us, keeping you up to date um, this past week. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new, uh, bottom right hand corner. Please do give a read of that vlog. The link is in the video description. Um, how can you buy tickets, as Sam here is saying? I'll have to put the link in the video description tonight. I'll put it in tonight. It is on previous videos, but I can't remember the last one we did. Um, where is your next holiday, says Mustafa Back. I'm thinking about having another one in the international break, just another three days over in Mallorca. I, I, I love Mallorca. I do love Mallorca. I've always loved it. So, uh, yeah, and you can't, you can't top a beautiful view like that every morning, can you? And the one in the bedroom. But, um, and that's just me looking in the mirror. But um, Lukaku is better than Dabala, says 36 Hanny. Never heard that joke before, but it's a good one. Um, good vibes from Dubai. Thanks for all the work, says Kamal. I'm just going to stay live until the stream cuts out, which, to be honest, we're in that sort of critical point at the moment. Ideal midfield mark. My, my I mean, look, is, is Paul Pogba staying? The rhetorical question, is Paul Pogba staying at Manchester United? I really hope he is. But um, you still keep hearing rumours that he might not go. My ideal midfield can't have Matic in it. I think, actually, if everyone played to their ability and potential, I'd quite like a midfield of Fred Pogba and Bruno Fernandes with people like Pereira and McTominay as the backup. I'd, 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 I'd be happy if Matic didn't play at all next season. I think he, I think he slows us down. Um, somebody just said there's no... Sky are saying that there's no medical for Dybala in Italy. I think people are getting the wires crossed there. He is having a medical today, but it's not a Manchester United medical. He's medical as part of his pre-season. All Italian players do it, especially Juventus as players when you come back for pre-season they all have their medical tests for Juventus not for Manchester United so I think people are getting their knickers in a twist probably reading stuff in Italian and thinking all oh, that's what's happening thanks for the contribution Stefan Gianola um, do you think Dybala will say yes to United as Black Ops I hope he does because I think if he doesn't we're going to get absolutely pied by all our rivals aren't we which is disappointing if Dybala says no all parties are screwed says Mike Hill I agree with Mike there I think I'm really grateful that Juventus are interested in Romelu Lukaku because I was getting worried. Inter Milan clearly never had the money, did they? They never had the money into Milan and, and that's been the problem. And now Juventus have come in and given us the solution. Can Juventus just buy him outright? I don't think they can. I think this is about a swap deal. So a lot rests on Dybala. I mean, I don't want Romelu Lukaku at United next season, but to be honest with you, he doesn't want to be at United next season either. And Dybala... The baller just gives us something for in a straight swap and virtually straight swap whopping wages as well. Extra Z, Ed probably told Pogba he would get the baller if he stays. Well, you know what? The interesting thing about that is if we do get the baller and Bruno Fernandes and Harry Maguire and Wan Bissaka, suddenly we're starting to build that team around Pogba that everybody said we should do. Whether that's enough for Pogba to stay or not, I don't know. But if the baller comes, will this influence Pogba to stay? Says Mr. Beast. I'm feeling that maybe Pogba is going to stay. And if Pogba stays and he's got his mate Dybala with him <clears throat> and you bring in another midfielder like Bruno Fernandes with the youth that's coming through, you, it, we're, we're still a long way off, but you can start to see a United team building again, can't you? And maybe, maybe that'll be enough for Pogba to work with. Maybe. Um, but we've got to cling on to something because you know what? We know as United fans at the moment we're feeling a wave of positivity, but it could just disappear very, very quickly like this stream. It could just go. And in a week's time a week tomorrow morning we could wake up and just have harry Maguire and no debala and no bruno fernandez and we'll be going this is shit it's a massive week it's a massive day i suppose every day is a big day in the final week for manchester united and, and are we going to solskjaer because in a week's time we could have bruno fernandez debala and harry Maguire. and i think that's all, all you know i think that's all we're going to get if we can do that if we can do that much but we could end up with two of those players we could end up with one of them and then even if we did get bruno fernandez and harry Maguire and debala i still think it's not the transfer window we needed. I still think we needed another midfielder. Milinkovic Savic looks like a total uh, smoke screen, says Sunil Power. I agree. Um, I mean, I like Milinkovic Savic, but I always said all the way through when we were doing the videos talking about it, I always felt like Milinkovic Savic was a bit of a smoke screen, something else, maybe for Lazio. I mean, a lot of people say that about Bruno Fernandes, but I felt it was. Um, but you never know, it could come back again. But can United do four deals in a week? Five deals? Can they sell Pogba, bring in Milinkovic Savic, Bruno Fernandes? I mean, the worst thing that could happen for United is, is we bring Bruno Fernandes in and then we sell Pogba because then 
we're in no better position than we were. You know, you've got to you've got to add Bruno Fernandes to the midfield that we've got. You can't lose any of our midfielders unless it's Matic. But um, Greenwood on loan if we signed Dybala says Rohan Guinea. No. Um, how were you, you Juve, ever going to afford Pogba then? Says Al098. Good point. Apparently Inter are in for Dybala now. Um, maybe they'd be looking at an Akadi swap. I mean, that would screw us over, com over completely. Inter wanted Lukaku, Juventus want Lukaku, and then the two clubs decide to do the swap for Dybala and Akadi, and we end up with Lukaku. I mean, that, to me, that would be a very sad situation as well. And United will spin it and go, well, we're really happy to keep a player of that quality, but not me, not me. So there you go. Please read my article on Harry Maguire. The link's in the video description. £80 million bid apparently going to be coming in from Manchester United for Harry Maguire. As I said four weeks ago, all United have got to do is go above £75 million and that, get, that deal will be done. And that's been the case for over four weeks now. Um, big day for Dybala. He is at Juventus training today. He will speak to Sarri and then a decision will be made. He wants to stay at Juventus, but obviously United are waiting to do that swap. So hopefully it will happen. Twan CB to Newcastle, I would do that deal. I would do that deal. Anyway, look, I'm sure we're going to be live again with you today. Smash a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. Lots going on. Big, big day ahead for Manchester United. And now, a big week. One week to go. Get in the comments. How many, how many deals can United do? And make sure you read my vlog. Link in the video description. See you soon.